Hi folks, I am solving lead code stop 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. So in this video, we'll be solving 133 clone graph when a reference of a node in a connected undirected graph and we have to return a deep copy or clone of that graph. To simplify, we can look at this example here. So this is our original graph and this is how the new graph should look. Yeah, you can't return the same graph and the nodes of the graph should be same. So let, let's look at on how we can solve this. So like all of the graph problems, we can use hash maps for this to iterate over each and every node and put those values on our hash maps. And we will do this recursively by using DFS or BFS. I will use DFS for this, but feel free to choose any. So now we have our hash map and this example here. So let's start from our one. What we will do is we will see if the new copy of one exists in our hash map or not. Since initially it's empty, it does not exist. So we will add it here. And now this one has two neighbors. One is four and another one is two. And neighbors is nothing but the list inside our node itself. So let's just say when we move from one to two, we created this link. Now we are at two. And again, we will check if two exists in our hash map or not. And since it's not, we created two. Again, so this two has two neighbors. First one is one. Now the second neighbor of two is three. And now we are at three. Yeah, so again, similar for three as well. It has two neighbors. One is two and another one is four. So now we are at four. So now this four has two neighbors. One is three and another one is one. But there is one problem here. We ha also have to link one back to this four. Up until now, what we did was we went from one to two and two to three and then three to four. Now to add one to four, we have to go back from four to three and three to two and then two to again one. And finally here we can make this link. We can do this recursively. So this is how we will create the copy. Let's quickly look at the code. We can start here by defining our hash map. Now our helper function DFS and this will take a root node. Let's write our base case, which is if our root equal equals to null, then we will return null. And now let's create the copy and this will contain our root dot value. And we have to add this copy to our hash map. Now we will have to iterate through our neighbors and recursively add the links. We have to push on to our copied element. So here we will recursively push the elements. So DFS at neighbor. And finally, we can return our copy here. At the end, we can return our DFS with node. So one thing which I missed is if we already have the element in our hash map, we will directly return it. And this completes our solution. So let me run this. It does work. Let me try to submit this. Yep, it does work. I hope you found this helpful. If yes, you can consider subscribing to this channel. And thank you so much for watching.